Tesla wanted a future in which science would be used for the true betterment of humanity. He hinted at it in his quote when he said, peace can only come as a consequence of universal enlightenment. That was his main goal. And many people think he backed off of his own projects because he knew that humanity was not ready. And we were like naive little children, that if we had the power of Tesla technology truly in our hands, it would be like putting nuclear bombs in the hands of children. Okay, so many people think he actually backed away from some of his most advanced technology projects. And that may be true. But one thing is Tesla did understand that this paradigm shift would have to happen. We have this controlled energy paradigm in place and we say we want to get to the free energy paradigm and there's a world in between these two things. Okay, so here's where we are on the left, where we want to go is on the right, but then there's this space in between where things haven't manifested. You could call it a transitional period. What we say we want to see manifested in the world is a free energy paradigm. That's what the people in the free energy movement and the new technology movement say that they want. There are requirements for what we say we want. It's the things that we say that we want don't just magically occur in our world. We have to do things to make them happen. And the things that actually make them happen are not just physical. We have to go through mental transformations to prepare the way for bringing this physical manifestation into the world. Back in like the 90s leading into the early 2000s, spiritualists and those in perhaps the New Age community would refer to this as a paradigm shift or simply the paradigm shift that humanity has to undergo. It was kind of a nebulous phrase, you know, it was never really fully quite defined in the spiritualist communities. What is this paradigm shift? What is actually the shift in consciousness that humanity has to undergo to make free energy a physical manifestation in our world? And it's not what people would quite what they would think. It actually talks about what it really means to be a conscious individual. What does it really mean to be quote unquote awake? It is knowledge of the world of the occult, meaning the hidden, specifically hidden science and hidden spirituality. It is knowing the characteristics of the higher self. It is knowing that the physical and spiritual aspects of our reality do not supersede each other, but yet they are actually one. It is becoming mentally free of all false religions or simply all false belief systems. It is understanding that knowledge is never negative, no matter how seemingly scary it may sound, knowing it is worth it. It is about knowledge that the current human condition is in fact a condition of slavery and the causal factors that have led to the current human condition. It is knowing that so-called negative emotions serve a critical purpose. It is knowing that enlightenment is not about pursuing bliss while surrounded by suffering in our world. It is knowing what true forgiveness really means. It is knowing the difference between what cannot be changed and what should be changed. Here's the paradigm shift aspects that are absolutely the most critical to the emergence of free energy in our world. Knowledge of the occult, meaning we have to understand the hidden science that has been held back from our understanding, and we have to understand the hidden spirituality and the laws of the actual spiritual reality that we live in. Why hasn't this paradigm shift happened? Okay, and this is the hard part to hear. Most people still believe the mainstream media and its pundits are actually telling them anything that resembles truth. Unfortunately, this is true for most people in the world still today. Most people still believe that the purpose of the so-called education system is to edify and enlighten people through genuine knowledge. And most people, unfortunately, still believe that the institutions of religion, banking, medicine, law, law enforcement, military, and just about every other societal institution exist to do what they claim they exist to do. And I would guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, that they exist to do quite the opposite of what their intended stated purpose is. This is why the paradigm shift has not occurred. This is why we're still stuck in the controlled energy paradigm, and we're not leaving it until we get rid of these false beliefs. Systems. Until these false beliefs are purged from human consciousness, don't expect free energy to manifest. It will not, it can not manifest until we change our own belief systems and stop believing in things that are based in violence and coercion and deception and ignorance.
Most people in the free energy movement still do not understand the free part. You know, most of them think this is about it being free as in gratis, as in not having to pay for it. They don't understand that a free energy system has to be based in a world that is based in true human freedom, which too few people truly value or even understand the meaning of. And that's the world. That's the current condition of our world that is locked down practically and it's getting worse. The reason that it's getting worse and the reason that we're in that condition is because we believe in this erroneous notion of authority that is based in violence and coercion. And if you don't think that's what government is, I would suggest that you're an extremely naive individual and you haven't really looked at the dynamics involved. See, in the past, in the old world order, you had this concept of authority being vested in one individual that ruled over everybody else. And as you went down that chain of command or chain of obedience, as I like to call it, you had more people who were more ignorant and at the top you had total power and total knowledge. And in the past they called this kingship. That's what it was referred to as. It was completely immoral then, just as it is now or would be in the future, okay? But see, today we've been duped into believing that we have something different than that when we have exactly the same thing. It's just authority that is vested in few. This is hegemony, this is oligarchy. This is what government is. Government is simply the same thing, except you have diffused the power from one individual into a handful of individuals that comprise a ruling class. The vast majority of the very people who say they want to see the manifestation of free energy are actually those who are blocking the manifestation of free energy by the very way that they continue to think. Thoughts become our reality, ladies and gentlemen, and if we do not change the way that we think, it is an impossibility for free energy to manifest because we will continue to manifest the same controlled energy paradigm for as long as our minds are not based in true freedom. This is where the vast majority of human beings are at. They are in a state of completely controlled thought where they cannot think of even the possibilities of what may be possible for humanity because of their limiting worldview and belief systems. And you can euphemize that all you want, just like you can euphemize slavery and call it government. I, people, you know, use mental manipulation, you know, uh, they use all kinds of euphemisms for it, but I call it what it really is, mind control. And we are mind controlled by social engineers who continue to get us to think in a paradigm of false belief that will keep us enslaved. Free energy cannot be manifested as long as the people of Earth continue to believe in and condone humanity's current immoral institutions, which are based entirely in violence, coercion, deception, ignorance, greed, usury, and exploitation. This is most certainly not what Tesla envisioned for the human future. This is what most of us do. You know, we look to some form of a leader and the leader is saying to us, who wants change? And everybody is very eager to raise their hand and jump to the front of the line and say, oh yes, give us that, give us that. But then when it is explained that what is required for the manifestation of that change to take place is for massive change in the human mind and heart. We ourselves have to change. We have to go through the paradigm shift in our belief system and our mental and spiritual lives. And very few people want that. A world based in free energy can only come as a consequence of a universal paradigm shift in human consciousness.